I'm here with some more X-Men figures from the 90s and a little bit of a little tweak and cust a few custom cape swaps. Here we have um, Magneto, uh, X-Men supervillain. So here are some of the few figures that were released in the 90s by Toy Biz. So let's start off with, I believe this is Magneto number two. I don't know if it's there. This figure itself was released in multiple uh, Toy Biz lines and box sets and in other years, but mostly in 1992 and three, I baby. But yeah, but later down in the years, they re released this figure, the most common Magneto figure. And then here I made a, I guess this is from the X Men Classics Magneto. Released in 2000, I just replaced the cape, so it looks a little bit different from the original one. Like I said, they released this Magneto figure in other lines in further years, so it looks a little bit better with this other purple cape. And then here, I did the same thing, but I gave it a little bit of a red cape custom. Looks pretty cool, right? And then here we have. Uh, Magneto so these two figures are basically the same molds as another Magneto in uh, in Toy Biz so they have the same accessories and helmet I took out the helmet so you can see this one right here let me see this is the fifth one so this was released in 1997 in a Marvel Hall of Fame is that right hold on No, that, no, this this one right here is the 1997 Marvel Hall of Fame Unmasked Magneto. That was that uh, Toy Biz line. And I believe, um, let's see. Uh, this one is the, this, oh, yeah, hold up. Yeah, this one is, this one has, was released in a X-Men series line with a different box art for X-Men. As you can see, this one has a thinner M and this one has a, a much bigger M. So those are the difference between those two. I believe in, uh, let's see. I'm really mixed up with these years. I'm trying to write it down. So let's see, this one was, I believe in 1997. And then this one is in no, 1998, 1997. God, I'm so mixed up right now. Okay, so moving on, we have um, an X-Men Classics Magneto in two, released in 2000. These two also have identical capes and helmets. I just basically took them off just so you can see what their, what Magneto looks like without the helmet. But right here, I just put original Magneto 2 uh, cape and some this accessory is on them just to look a little bit different and then this one right here X-Men Classics so and then this one is the I guess the X-Men vs Street Fighter Magneto the two pack with Ryu so yeah a little bit more of a lighter color of a cape this also comes with the same thing so yeah Oh, that's a little bit mixed up. So here are some of the Magneto figures that were released in Toy Biz. I apologize about these mix-ups. There's too many figures in too many years and series lines. You know, you know how Toy Biz is. So yeah, more figures to come.